way. I always wanted a dog, but it just didn't really make sense to the to the life that we had here in the rescue zoo, you know? We have 600 animals more to come. Hi, Ayo. <laughs> and it just it just didn't make sense, you know? I love the idea of having a, a companion animal in that sense and the relationship you can get with a dog, but I just it, it didn't it didn't really happen um, be, because of you know the circumstances because of the rescue zoo and and everything. Go. Hi. 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 So this is Gorm. Gorm is a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but he's so happy. But something changed. Um, and, and this idea actually came to me quite quite recently and it came like <laughs> out of nowhere. As we are a rescue center, it, it was of course natural for me to, uh, to rescue and adopt a dog. And we went to one of the local shelters about an hour away from the rescue zoo where we could see that 11 puppies from the same case were sitting and waiting for homes. This was the first time I met Gorm at the shelter. And here was his first trip home in the car and he was actually surprisingly calm and doing so well. And, and here coming into the house for the very first time. Gorm is a mix of an Alaskan Malamute and a... We think it's a German Shepherd, but it's very hard to sort of have the direct species of dog since his mother was a Romanian street dog and his father was a, as far as we've been told, a pure, as, as much as they get, um, Alaskan Malamud. Do you want to see a second part about Gorm growing up here in the rescue zoo? He is 44 kilograms of a big boy now. He's been living here for about 10 months. And I would love to show you guys a second part of this video if you guys enjoyed it. So let me know down in the comments. And if you're brand new, subscribe so you don't miss if we get to make a part two, depending on if you guys actually want to see it. So it's up to you guys if you want to. I got them a big porter.